Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Hey, listen, I'm so sorry that there has been a huge gap of videos lately. I, I really do try my hardest to get more stuff done. And as you can see, I'm in the working progress of my uh, next video. Uh, it's gonna be a huge one, I, I promise. Uh, it's just that I'm waiting for a certain prop that I really do need to finish this video. It's on its way here, I just don't know when it will arrive. So, um, in the meantime, I might as well just count down my top 20 favorite games of all time. Like, my favorites. Just, to ha just for you to so have something to watch, I guess. So, it's gonna be a two-parter because there was absolutely no way that I could just count down a top 10 favorites because... I want to at least show you 20 of them. Um, so this is going to be a two-parter. So this is 20 through 11. And uh, remember, this is my list. So if there's a game, if there, if there's a game that is missing, you think, then it's probably because I have never played it or I just don't like it, I guess. So um, yeah, with no further ado, let's cut the bull crap and uh, dive in. Number 20! One thing is for sure about me and RTS games, I completely suck at them. It doesn't matter how hard I try, I just can't develop a good strategy for any situation at all. And that case didn't change when I played Command & Conquer Generals. But damn, I loved it anyway. Play as either USA, China or the Global Liberation Army and fight till you're the last one standing. A good old RTS. There are tanks, jets, choppers, and fucking lasers. If you missed out on this, then you really did miss out on something fantastic. Number 19! A fighting game that I never got enough of when I was younger. Tekken 3 was just so much fun to play back in the days. I just have such fond memories of playing this game together with my siblings. I'm not really a big fan of the later games, but I do respect them. But this game was the first game to introduce me to the fighting game genre. Loved it then, love it now. Number 18! I have to say, when I first heard about Minecraft, I thought it was stupid, it looked weird, didn't sound appealing at all, and there was just no way I was gonna pay 20 euros for this game. But after hearing many great things about it, I gave it a try. And holy god damn, it's one of the most relaxing games I've ever played. The fact that you can create or build pretty much anything with the help of blocks is just candy for your creative brain. It's basically Lego in a video game. Seriously, when I can build a statue of my friend's face, then what the hell can I not build? Number 17! I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, I am a complete wuss when it comes to horror games. I can't stand them. I lose my shit whenever I have to touch them. And I have been this way for as long as I can remember. But how come I started playing the Resident Evil remake? Well, I got curious. I wanted to experience a survival horror for myself and see how, it, how well it would turn out for me. So I manned up and started playing it. And I wasn't frightened to death as I thought I would be. The feeling I got when I played this was... I, I was having fun. It was interesting. It was suspenseful. Mo creepy. But most of all, fun. I'm glad I played this game and I consider this game to be my 17th favorite game. Number 16! I love Pokemon, although I'm not the very best at it. But I do remember the fond memories as a child when I played Pokemon Silver, even though I didn't like turn-based games back then, but I still played it. So when it came out, I had to play Pokemon Soul Silver, and some of my friends got it too, so we had a competition, and the rules were no starters. As soon as you catch your first Pokemon, you release your starter and start training your new Pokemon. First level cap is level 10 and 2 Pokemon. Come to school the next day, battle each other and after that you're allowed to level up to 20 and get 2 new Pokemon. Come to school the next day and battle each other and repeat. It was really fun to do it this way and I really grew attached to this game because of it. It was the first time I took Pokemon more seriously and got a better liking for the series in general. So that's why it's number 16. Number 15! I'm actually gonna talk about this game in a future video, so I won't say too much about it, but I can say, if it weren't for this game, I wouldn't be interested in Origins or Legends at all. My sister and I loved this game when it came out. It was beautiful, it had great music, funny villains, and now that I think back to it, it was pretty damn hard. I've actually never beaten it. 
You know what? I'll have to change. Number 14! I'm not really a Sonic fan. I barely touched any of the older Sonic games on the Genesis or Mega Drive, if you'd like to call it that. And I've played multiple 3D Sonic games, but they were... Eh. But I decided to give Generations a try, and holy fucking shit is it fun. Combining 2D and 3D gameplay into one game, and going back to the older games, but with a more modern look to the levels, was a really neat choice. The controls were great, and it was just fun. This is my favorite Sonic game, without a doubt. Number 13! This has been the only Fire Emblem game that I've played, but I think I can already decide that this is my favorite among the other entries in the franchise. I don't even have to play the other games. That's, that's how much I trust this game. I have not played that many strategy RPGs, but I think I should play more of them now that I have played this game. It was really addicting, and seriously, I want this kind of animation for an anime, please. It just looks so goddamn beautiful. Number 12! Another RTS for this list. Battle for Middle Earth is an RTS based on the Lord of the Rings. And what I liked about this game is that you were limited to what you could do. You had to go with one strategy, otherwise you would be fucked. You could play as Gondor, Rohan, Isengard and Mordor, and it's, again, an all-out battle to the death. The best part was that you could play with up to 7 other people online, divide all the players into 2 teams, 3 teams, 4 teams, however you wanted it. Things got intense, but sadly, the servers are down now. And no, I won't play the sequel. <laughs> that game was dumb. Number 11! There is a big reason why I prefer Battlefield 2 before any of the later installments. It's tactical. You can't just run around and shoot people from left and right, but you have to help everyone in your team. There are so many different ways you can contribute to your team and ensure victory, and it was fun to be someone that did something. Not to just be a pawn of chess and run around and die because of some bullshit. No, you had to think out your strategies and be as much help as possible for your team. And Commander Mode made it even better. And I hated DICE for removing it in the third game. Frankly, I hate that whole game. But they did bring it back in the fourth game. And I don't have the balls to touch that thing. So I don't know if it's any good. 